Tony here. Today for the 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to give you my list of favorite um, horror movies that are based off of true events. Some of these are very loosely based off of true events, but in some form or fashion, they are all based on true events. Um, this is just going to be a really quick video. I'm not really going to go into the film other than, other than to let you know how much I enjoy it. Uh, so first up, we have The Strangers. I've always enjoyed this film ever since I saw it in the theater. Very creepy, as you can tell. Um, this is loosely based on um, actual events. And if you've never seen The Strangers, I would highly recommend you check it out. I do remember seeing this one in the theater and just the tension of what was going to happen. The whole theater reactions was wonderful. So very happy to have this one in the collection. One of my all-time favorite movies is, uh, as far as horror movies, is the Amityville Horror. Um, this right here is definitely based on true events. And if you've never seen this movie, definitely check out the original and also check out the reboot that they did. Um, it's really good, so check that out. Another one that is based on true events, as it says on the top, based on a true story, is Backcountry. Um, this right here is a really good film. I really do enjoy animal attack movies. Um, found footage movies and this kind of give you this right here kind of gave you a little bit of both really good performances I enjoyed this one if you've never seen Backcountry check that one out um, another great film that is based on a true story and this is more of a true crime type film um, with some great performances by Steve Carell um, and definitely Mark Ruffalo is Foxcatcher I've seen this one in the theater. I really enjoyed it in the theater. I was very happy that it got a physical media release. If you've never checked out this film, I highly recommend you check it out. As you can see, it, it did get five Academy Award nominations. So check that one out. Okay, um, the next few films that I'm going to show are pretty much based on the same person, Ed Gein. Ed Gein, however you pronounce it. First up, we have this great thriller, The Silence of the Lambs. Of course, this is just a perfect movie. I enjoy all the performances in this. Great performances. Um, the Silence of the Lambs with Hannibal Lecter. We also have another favorite of mine from Alfred Hitchcock, and that is Psycho. So this right here is loosely based on Ed Gein also. And then lastly, we have another one of my favorites from the 70s is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Another one that was based off of Ed Gein. I think that all three of these films really do represent different types of stories. I enjoy every one of them. If you've never seen any of these films, which I'm sure that you have, definitely check it out. And if you would ever like to um, learn more about Ed Gein, just do a search on YouTube for him. And you can see what a very strange person he was. And um, anyways, very interesting person. Okay, some other um, movies based on true events. We have The Town That Dreaded Sundown. It's been a very long time since I've seen this one. I've always enjoyed it. And so it's one that you can check out. The original Scream movie. Um, was I was told was based on true events. I'm not sure exactly how true that is and how loosely based it was, but of course we all love the screen movies. I think most of us do. And then lastly we have Sinister. Sinister, I was told, was based on true events. Um, I really love this film. I enjoyed the story, the performances, the eeriness of it. So those are my picks for um, the titles that I have in my collection that were based on true events. Please let me know what you think about my picks and also let me know what you think are some great picks that I should check out that are based on true events because I really do enjoy true crime, true horror, and I would love to check those out. But if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I, really, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.